Now let's look at how we represent noise in that same constellation diagram. So if you've got a weaker signal, you can see lots more noise. Um, we would be able to try to transmit or transmit exactly that, 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 but of course the noise would be added. And you can see that the noise changes the magnitude. It also changes the phase. As long as we stay within the squadron, it will be detected as a zero one. That will be detected as a zero zero. You can see with this level of noise there, and this is a statistical spread. We're no longer going to receive this guy. We're going to sometimes receive this guy, sometimes that guy. And unfortunately, sometimes this guy, so even though we're trying to set transmit a zero one, we will be transmitting a one one, and that would be a bit error. And of course, this is what we're trying to reduce. The only way to get it more reliable, in other words, to get fewer bit errors, because this causes data errors and slows down the system. And of course, becomes entirely unusable at some point. We have to increase the signal to noise. Now, I couldn't draw it properly. Uh, if we go out indoor to outdoor, we typically go 16 dBs up. 16 dBs is a factor of 40. And what we've done is we've increased the signal 40 times. Now, that would clearly be ridiculous to draw. We didn't actually lower the, the noise. Signal went up 40, but suddenly you can see higher signal to noise, the better focus. It is less, the less spec we've got around the actual symbol that we want to transmit. So I think that illustrates just the basics and why do we need higher signal to noise um, in order to clearly transmit four bits. If we only do two, which I've not illustrated, of course, that would be this big. And in which case we can, with um, lower signal to noise, transmit one bit per symbol.